I'm Katie Huber, the Tufts Radiation Oncology Residency Program Director. We put this video together to give you an opportunity to hear from some of our residents and faculty to hopefully give you some sense of who we are and learn about our approach to resident education. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. The program meant everything I wanted a program to have. I was very impressed with the faculty um, as well as the residents at the time. And it seemed like their breadth of clinical training and the quality of their education and the, the opportunities that they've had um, was compared to other programs, one of the best. So that's why I decided to come here. There are a lot of things I took into consideration, uh, one being the people that I would be working with every day, both my co-residents and the faculty, and how, you know, how our interactions would be in terms of learning and just uh, friendly interactions, just people that I felt like I fit in with and got along with. Also, just uh, where you're training, the academic institutions themselves and the patient populations that you'll see, uh, the cases that you'll see, and along with just feeling supported in that environment. I was really focused on looking for a program where um, I thought the clinical training would be great and also looking for a program with people that I thought I'd like to spend time with. Um, and I really felt like I found that rotating here as a med student. So first and foremost, the residents that we work with each day are really approachable. We spend time together. Um, and the faculty members are not only great teachers, but also very easy to talk to about different things. We're very fortunate with our program in that we have three great academic medical centers participating in the training of our residents and three superb medical schools. And as a consequence, um, the residents have different experiences at the three places. Um, it's a subtle difference, but a real difference. Um, and I think it's important for residents to see that, that uh, the science may be the same, but the interpretation of the science can be different and the way people practice can be different. And I think it gives our residents a very broad perspective on the practice of radiation oncology. Our patients come to us because they feel safe and taken care of in our clinics. Part of that comfort arises from training our residents to understand the practical side of patient safety. Through clinical training on safety culture and incident learning, as well as opportunities to participate in quality improvement projects, our residents leave with a fundamental understanding of how integral patient safety is to radiation oncology. If you only get trained at one institution, you're only exposed to that institution's approach. And even though you may read about the other approaches, it's not the same as actually doing them. Our residents are also exposed to the full gamut of technology, treatment planning systems, and EMRs between the three institutions. Although it's a challenge for them to keep all their passwords straight, I think it's useful to be able to say that they are proficient with Eclipse, Pinnacle, and Ray Station, that they're comfortable with gamma knife-based and LINAC-based stereotactic radiosurgery, and that they're comfortable using ARIA and Mosaic. Our residents have a very smooth transition to becoming junior attendings, which is the ultimate goal. The work-life balance here is, is really great, um, especially with the four-day work week is how we phrase it because on Fridays it's all lectures and didactics and working on our own research and weekends we have to ourselves um, and so I've found a lot of time to do uh, things outside of work like hiking in the White Mountains um, on the Appalachian Trail sometimes um, I've learned to ski this last winter uh, gone to the beaches during the summer. One of the nice things about um, the way our program works is since we're all together every Friday and we as residents are pretty close, um, we're a close-knit group and I think um, that's been helpful um, because a lot of times some of the, um, the challenges of residency we can talk with some of our senior residents and see that they've gone through the same thing and um, I think that really enhances our learning and some of our training. I feel like I've been able to spend a good amount of time with my family. For example, there have been multiple weekends that I've felt comfortable spending the day going to Cape Cod and just spending time on the beach, not feeling like I'm obligated to study or catch up on things. I don't feel like they're putting extra stress on me that I have to do so many notes that I'm burdened on the weekends or on our didactic days. 
I, again, I was a resident here and um, felt all along that I was embraced as a person, as a whole person. I uh, had interest in pursuing basic science research and was given an enormous amount of support to do that um, with a full year in the lab. Clinical research is a, uh, a really integral part of residency education at the Tufts program. And so we have our residents involved in clinical research uh, uh, from the beginning. And uh, typically, residents will be involved in one or multiple projects during the course of their time with us. The clinical research really uh, can be done in many different forms, uh, from things as simple as uh, chart reviews. But often, we look to have residents get involved in more interesting projects, uh, such as uh, new technologies, uh, evaluation of new technologies, or involvement in uh, prospective trials. I love to bike, um, and I love finding new trails in the New England area. I also enjoy kayaking, whether that be in the Charles River in Boston or somewhere in New Hampshire. And having the ocean right there is really awesome, too. I was born and raised in Boston, and I love it here. Boston has great history with the USS Constitution and Freedom Trail. We have coastal cities north and south of the city, as well as the Cape and Islands. Even Maine and New Hampshire are just a short drive away. You can spend time trying new restaurants each weekend in the city, or you can go to Rockport for a day and feel like you're on vacation. You're always kind of rubbing shoulders with a lot of new people um, and just friends of friends. And so it's just a lot of fun just being around a lot of people your age when you kind of go out. And the people there are just so, so smart. Um, everybody's just doing something kind of um, really impressive really all the time. I love uh, working with the residents. It's uh, it's uh, really the, the the joy of why I went into academic uh, medicine is being able to uh, to educate and inspire the next generation of clinicians as well as uh, you know, hopefully educators as well. That's what we want is for them to understand the biology of cancer, natural history and all of the modalities that are used to treat cancer, to have an intimate understanding of all of that, but also to be able to participate in the science of oncology, to investigate, and to have so many resources available to them with three great medical schools um, is truly an extraordinary experience. And, and our residents have taken advantage of that, and I think um, as a consequence have had uh, truly extraordinary educational experiences with us. Thank you.